Hello everybody and welcome to this week's video on doors to this place in the South Pallet. My name is Simon Hennessy here at Angus Eli Jackman Hospital. So dorsal displacement of the soft palate is the most common expiratory upper airway condition we tend to see here at Angus Lodge. The horses that present will often present making a gurgling noise, but all the time they will present at a failure to maintain maximal exercise cap capability at maximal intensity. What that roughly translates into is a racehorse, for instance, that's traveling for the line, looks like they're going to win, win well, um, and then cuts out or comes to a complete stop usually with a furlong or two furlongs to go. We do see it in sport horses, but to a lesser extent, most commonly in event horses or in dressage horses that are asked to uh, compete in, a, in probably in a, an excessively collected outline. So these horses tend to cut out or reduce their performance or their ability to perform exercise because the soft palate becomes displaced. It flips up from underneath the throat to cover the throat and or the larynx and so block the outflow of air from the lungs through the pharynx and out through the nose. Instead, that air becomes redirected down into the mouth. So for you and I, we would simply just start breathing through our mouth. However, the horse is an obligate nasal breather. It has to breathe through its nose. And so when this happens to them, it's the equivalent to you and I getting a bag put over our head and our oxygen being completely cut off and you can very quickly see why that horse comes to a complete halt. The exact cause of DDSP continues to be an ongoing area of research, though most research seems to focus on an ineffective nervous supply to the muscles of, of the palate. This is seen probably most keenly in young racehorses, two and three year olds, where immaturity is, is often the cause for dorsal displacement of the soft palate. Essentially, the nerve muscle junctions are still developing. So with a lot of these horses, simply giving them time would be curative in these situations. In other horses, older horses, where the condition is, is more clinical. At Angus Lodge Equine Hospital, we tend to notice that these horses are often either endurance horses or horses racing over quite a long distance, often in deep ground and often in the winter months. As we said before, horses that suffer from this condition often make a gurgling noise. And the reason for this is that the soft palate, before it displaces, becomes unstable and begins to billow in, in the high airflow environment of the pharynx. And that billowing or that flapping up and down creates the gurgling noise. But not all horses make a gurgling noise. In fact, 30 to 40 percent of horses are silent displacers. So they don't make any noise at all before they displace their palate. In these horses, you have to look out for other clinical signs. For instance, a lot of these horses will hold their breath, often in, an, in an, an attempt to stabilize that soft palate to prevent it from flipping. Other horses will swallow quite regularly during exercise, trying to replace a palate that has already flipped. Treatment of soft palate, dorsal space and soft palate usually begins with conservative management, application of a cross nose band to keep the mouth closed to prevent an inflow of air that might destabilize the palate leading to a displacement, or the use of a tongue tie. The tongue tie is often being referred to as a poor man's tie forward because by pulling the tongue forward you also pull forward its bone of attachment, the hyoid apparatus, which also attaches to the throat. And so that brings your throat forward and increases the overlap between your throat and your soft palate, making it harder for the soft palate to flip up, much like we do in a, in a laryngeal tie forward. Uh, however, to a much lesser extent. If conservative management doesn't work, then surgical intervention is probably merited. And usually that will involve either a soft palate cautery or the laryngeal tie forward procedure, which we'll talk about next week. And that's it. We'll talk to you next week. P feel free to hit the link uh, below the video here to bring you to our YouTube channel where there's plenty more videos on these topics. See you next week.